Yes, I will. Well, the gentleman yield for a question. He yields. Uh, Dean Craddock, uh, Speaker Craddock, who were making, but prior to your legislation, were these types of loans being made anywhere in our economy? They were being made by different, you know, even some banks, some churches, some organizations. In fact, they've got some, and I think there's a group in Dallas, the one in Houston, that's now making these loans. But, but and by, also, by and large, were these loans being made by people that uh, were not churches, uh, but were an underground type economy? And I can, uh, from personal experience, I had a secretary who came to me in tears one day because she had just hawked her wedding ring because her husband had borrowed uh, $500 from an unsavory, unsavory character. This is before the days of payday lending. You she, think these it, people are, are savory no, lenders? I'm not, these I'm are sorry, legal. we just have a different but idea. But these are legal. What these people did, their collection tactics that the, that the legal ent entities use, the collection tactics are not what was threatened to kidnap her, her son, or to, uh, or to kill her husband. I ended up loaning her $4,000 to pay off that loan from those types of people. And that's what your legislation in 87 got rid of those types. It, it, it severely curtailed those types of people. The current collection habits of, our, of these lenders, uh, what, what are their, their collection, uh, what, what are they limited to? Are they limited to reporting it to a credit bureau? What are they limited to? I'm sorry. I couldn't uh, hear you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your House will come to order. With existing lenders that do these types of loans, what are their collection practices? Are they do they have to, are they limited to collecting it or reporting it to a credit bureau? What are they what can they do to collect on their fees? If they if if they can't collect if you if you default, they go through the people go through the same procedures everyone else does. Which is? I think, first of all, there's a lot of people that testified that there were a lot of pressure being put on these people. If, uh, if the military, they're being abused terribly in the areas. I think we passed a bill about two weeks ago restating the federal laws because the, 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 you can't do this in the, around the military bases. Look, there's a problem. There's a way to fix the problem. There's a way to fix the problem. The way to fix the problem is one of two ways. You either codify what the cities are having to do because we can't do it, at the, we won't do it, or can't do it at the state level. Or you go in and you say, the second item is, you go in and say, look, we've got usury laws in this state and we're gonna abide by them. That's it. That's right, a, let, that, then, I don't let, know any other way to fix it. Then who, who would be the enforcement arm uh, if this were to go into effect? Your enforcement be like any other loan if you can't pay it off, if people would have to go through for foreclosure on it. Well, in and, and all, and all due respect, I, I, I know that, that your motives are pure in this, but I can tell you that if this passes, we are looking to going back to an underground economy. We are looking at having uh, enforcement practices that, that I have experienced personally that are much worse than having it reported to the credit bureaus. Actually, I've done the same situation. I helped someone in my office do it too. Thank you.